don't get flame to the fire. It's real like your name on a flyer. I want y'all to know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love old school Nati Bling. Everybody love old school. And the reason people love old school is because the artist was hungry. So they was hungry for their craft. They was hungry for everything. And the way they was hungry made us hungry for them. And we had to go search for them. We had to go look for them. And the old artists, they used to come out. And they used to come to community events. And they used to be part of their fans. They used to come out, play soccer games, and just do shit. But these new artists, and I, I'm sorry to make it seem like I can't stand y'all, but y'all get on my motherfucking nerves. I just can't lie. Y'all some social media spoilt ass babies. Like, y'all motherfuckers know how to get people to like y'all on Instagram. Y'all know how to get controversy going to get people to talk about y'all. But y'all don't really know how to make music that lasts or music that connects or shit like that because when i'm still looking for that music it's still the old artist that's giving me the shit that i need these young motherfuckers is like some fucking old ass duracell batteries not even energizer they hype as fuck for a time but then the bitch just dead you know what i mean the fuck you at you know what i mean they not even like that ever last they they some just raggedy shit most of them you know, and I got friends overseas, DJs from all kind of radio stations that's always like, yo, Nick, yo, what's the hot shit in Jamaica? Who the hot artist? And to be honest with you, I always sit there with the boo boo face the past two years where I'm like, people in Jamaica. I could tell you who on the island they say is hype, but I can't really tell you who really can sell units. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Like, where's Alkali? Motherfucker just disappeared on us. He was hype as shit for a minute, then he disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Cartel went to jail, and then we thought Car we thought Movado was just going to come and run shit. Where he at? Who else we got? I don't you're doing all right. He doing good. I don't you're doing good. I want to see him do more. But I don't you're doing good. Conscience, I love. Conscience is like radio dance hall. I know a lot of y'all kind of look at him like he's stush. And he, he like stuck up and shit, but he got a formula and y'all need to understand that and kind of respect that. I love conscience. I think he's all about the work and he's all about the music. And that's why I love him. Um, so I'm a big conscience fan. Who else is new that I like? I love Spice. I wish Spice could get some radio hits though. Cause the last radio hit she had was with Cartel Rompin Shop. So I, I'm really hoping Spice can find her niche to, to do more radio friendly songs, but she's so, Far cemented in making us broke out and squeeze up all kind of things and skinning out our pum pums. <laughs> She's so good at it. That gum, de gum, de gum, de gum, de gum. Anyway, yeah. But what about the young progress? What about the young? What about the young progress? The young artists. I'm, I'm bored. I'm bored. Exactly, Ava Rose. These new artists want to be rock stars, not musicians. I'm bored. I like Raijin King, but. I'm going to tell you the difference between me and a lot of people. I'm a radio personality and a radio DJ. I'm a full radio DJ. I'm not one of the radio DJs that wants to be in the club DJing and stuff like that. So when I listen to radio music versus dancehall, hardcore industry dancehall, it's two different things. And that's the unfortunate fuck up people be doing. They be trying to take the club and put it on primetime radio when that shouldn't be the same thing. Primetime radio and club music is not the same. Primetime radio is where you would put the Shaggy and the Sting, the Sean Paul and his numerous collaborations, the Charlie Blacks and his numerous collaborations, the Junior Gong. That's where you put that. Nighttime, you go dance hall on radio. But overall, the lines have been fucked up in the music industry. And that's why we keep doing this hamster wheel. Because the greater audience, the international audience, they're not going to so much quickly grab, gravitate to the Raijin King right away, the Tija, or any of these artists right away. So the way that we can get them to be more acclimated is by giving them that spoonful of sugar they love, the Sean Pauls, the Shaggies, and stuff like that. What do you mean you guys are not listening to real artists? President Mega, you don't know nothing about me. You don't know nothing about me. Because if one thing I know music, I have broke a lot of artists. 
And I don't need to talk about which ones of them. They know who they are and I know who they are. I'm not one of them people that's going to run around going Ray, 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 but they know that. I know F Kago is one of the radio artists. Congo, I don't know who that is. Shensi is doing good. Um, Shensi is doing good. I think she had a, a weird start, um, you know, because of the way she came into the industry. So a lot of people, um, it took them a while to start gravitating to her. But um, I think Shensia is learning her way. You know, most DJ or pussy to, yeah, I know that. A lot of DJs are pussies. I know that. I know that. But you don't, I don't blame them. A lot of these radio stations hire pussies. <laughs> like, they hire people who are hot in the streets because radio stations are too lazy to actually check what the community wants. So they just pick up a hot name and put them on the radio. And then this person plays nothing but their friend's music or whatever artist is their friend. And that still doesn't overall help our industry. Bonty Killer is a legend. He's a boss. There's nothing to talk about with Bonty. Bonty's in a class by himself. Bonty doesn't have to make another song in his life, and he will always be Bonty. And that's what people need to understand. I love Aishana, but I'm fucking tired. Aishana need to come out with a fucking song. Where the fuck is the music, Aishana? You're fucking gorgeous. You're beautiful. Your pictures, your snaps, your boomerangs. Where the fuck is the music? Fuck. That's what I'm saying. These new artists are spoiled. They're spoiled. They, they're spoiled. When I watch Wayne Marshall on stage tonight... And I watch how he was writing the rhythms and how he was delivering his songs from start to finish. You don't listen to radio. That's okay. Um, but that's what I'm saying. These new artists can't even do that. The veteran artists can do that. But these new artists can't do that. They've never had to struggle in a way that the veteran artists have. So, yes, they've had their struggles, but they haven't had to struggle like the artists, our veteran artists that we love. And that's why this new music is not really resonating like our veteran artists, the way they put music out there. Shinsia no good. She just don't have any challenge except Spice. Shinsia is good. I won't ever say Shinsia is not good. Shinsia and Spice are nowhere near on the same caliber. I will give you that. But Shinsia is good. I remember when I first met her, um, take away all the hype, and I just met her. And I listened to her sing raw and I interviewed her and I talked to her about what was going on. That girl is extremely talented. Shensia is extremely talented. But unfortunately, this is just my opinion. I might not be right, but I feel like when you're an artist and you come prepackaged in a tin, meaning you don't have to have the same struggles and adversities that a lot of these other artists have had sometimes that fire that we're used to seeing, you know, this, that fire because they had to bust their ass differently. It translates into a lackadaisical thing. And I think that's where people kind of have started going iffy with Shensia. I, I, that's, it's just my opinion, but, and at the end of the day, it's good and it's bad. She came, she have a strong team Romish, which is amazing, strong team. But yeah, I feel like the grit is what people are not seeing. And that's why they're still like, eh, but she's fucking talented. So if you took away the team she has and you put her out there in a more raw music industry setting, I think you guys would have acclimated to her easier and faster. But at the same time, her talent is no different. It's, it's still amazing. Pussy is a strong part of a woman. These DJs must be something else. Pond scum. You damn right. Pussy is a beautiful thing. I love the word pussy. Pussy, vagina. I think women should look at their vaginas all the time. Shano is nice, but Shano has not found those songs. The catalog, the steady catalog. I think the new art is just about the hype. Exactly. New artists are mostly about hype and money. They don't have love for the industry. And when you see artists coming in here and they don't show respect for the veteran artists, you know it's about the hype and it's about the money. It's not about the love of the music business. You can't come in here and disrespect any of these artists. It doesn't matter if the new, if the veteran artists don't have any new songs out there. These are motherfuckers that paved the way for y'all bitch asses. The Beanie Man, even the Mr. Vegas, as much as y'all want to meme his ass, Mr. Vegas is a fucking legendary. I am start Sing J. I am make people understand what is Sing J. You understand the broke jaw shit. 
sing and DJ, would you? All these motherfuckers. So if you in this industry and you don't show that respect, I don't give a fuck if your elders look cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. There has to be a certain level of respect. I love Popcon. Fuck every other new artist. If we want to talk about the new school, Popcon is my only little munchkin motherfucker. I love that little punanums. Me love Popcon like me can't love him no more. And I didn't used to like him. I thought he was a hype little somebody. Like on some real shit. I remember the welcome on the Jamrock Cruise. He was supposed to perform first. And I heard a rumor that he said some shit about how many Instagram followers he had. And the rest of the artists don't have followers like him. And I was like, who is this little motherfucker acting like that? Instagram followers does not mean shit. And like they was looking for him on the on the cruise. Couldn't find him because he was hiding out. He didn't want to perform first. All kind of shit. And I didn't really like Popcorn. I ain't going to front. Little John, I get it, but Mr. Vegas is what's really what what really made the Sing Jang popular. If you really want to talk truth, when we talk about international, it was Mr. Vegas, so you can't go around that. But anyway, so Popcorn, <laughs> when Popcorn was supposed to perform on the cruise, because the cruise is no joke. The cruise is not like no show where they say showtime at eight and then it start at ten. If the cruise say showtime at eight, the shit start at eight. So they couldn't find Popcorn and shit. His ass was hiding out because he didn't want to perform first and stuff. So Elephant Man jumped out there and he performed first. Elephant Man didn't give a fuck. He was like, what? You know. And he just did his thing. So, like, I used to be like, Popcorn is a little hype motherfucker. But when I watch him, like, his respect for family, his respect for children, his respect for hearts, is what makes me now love Popcorn differently. When I did the thing for Wakanda, I don't know Popcorn like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know him like that. And I called a couple of people about helping me out to get these kids to go see Wakanda. And one of Popcorn people caught wind of it and let him know. And they called me back and was like, Popcorn said how much it costs. So I told them, I was like, it costs 100 grand to take them all and make sure they get popcorn and everything like that. He sent all of the money without question. He didn't even post that he did it. He did it. I posted that he did it. He would have never said shit. And I'm not the only person that he's assisted when it comes to kids in Jamaica that he hasn't talked about, that y'all don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Popcorn, this little girl made a post and said she's his hero. She has some kind of illness, um, some kind of disability. Popcorn went to her birthday party. He had to do that shit. Motherfucker album just came out forever. Shit is on every fucking chart you can think of. He did not have to take his time out and go to this little girl party who he don't know who just posted a video on Instagram. That nigga little, that little nigga heart right there, Popcorn, that little nigga heart right there, I will forever support him. I don't give a fuck how hype he is. Because I see that the more money he makes, he's willing to take that same money and give it back to places where it's needed. And it's people like that I fuck with all day all day so big up the popcorn this is nikki z raw show you monetizing through instagram <laughs> nah no reggae vibes just every once in a while i pop up here when is the hapalos awards i do not work for them so i don't know nothing about them poppy i real you little john is a folder for sing jay yeah true true happy for her them things that yeah popcorn up up hello <laughs> Anyway, I just came in from Guys Hill. Dexter Daps and friends. Dexter Daps is fucking amazing. Octane is cool. Um, yeah, I'm very blunt. That's why a lot of people don't really like me and I have a lot of enemies in the industry and they make my they try to make my career harder, but I don't really give a fuck. It is what it is. What's my day job? I do I actually do a radio show. Mellow FM opened up a new station called Energy. So I do the morning show on Energy, 6 to 9, Monday through Friday. But my biggest thing, what I mean about what? No, I'm not VP of Haplos. I left them in May. My job is about this industry and helping and, and radio and doing things progressively. So a decision had to be made because I wasn't happy. I ain't going to front. I was not happy. This is what I love to do. I love radio. I love talking to y'all. I love waking y'all up in the morning. I love making y'all feel good. I like coming out and telling y'all the stories about all of these different artists. 
I love like presenting that shit to y'all. I don't want to just make money off the industry. If it was just about making money, I would have stayed in fucking Connecticut and kept working on hip hop radio because hip hop radio played more. When I have my gigs doing hip hop radio, there's no question about my motherfucking paycheck. You know what I'm saying? The shit is there, but that's not where my heart is at. And I'm just never been a person that's been all about money. Hey, Waterbury, Connecticut. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Honestly, when you say you're going energy now, I don't want no, none of y'all to tie me to no radio station, period. I have um my podcast that I have, Nikki Z's Hot 20, that is on like 13 stations right now. It's on iTunes. You can find it on my website, queensofficial.com. My goal is to push that show so heavy that every radio station around the world um, airs that show. It's like my Casey Kasem version for the Caribbean. But the morning show I do on energy, I love that. Like, I love being able to talk to you on the morning. Would you give a brother so, some advice of the air? So that's, oh, would you give some brother some advice? If you're saying give you advice on being on air, I would say be your fucking self. Too many people go on the radio and they try to make up a character because they want to be popular. So you hear people, everybody on the radio sound like, and they start doing that weird thing. Yeah, they fucking annoy me. When you go on radio, just fucking talk. Like, no matter what kind of person you are, be who the fuck you are. Because there's always some kind of people that think like you or are like you. So be free to be yourself. That's the only advice I give radio people. Be free to be yourself. I love you a long time. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Tian, thank you. Off air advice? Off air advice? Be your fucking self. My advice on air and off air is the same. This world is so fucked up and it's forcing us to try to fit into shit and be shit that we don't even want to be. Like, this fucking, even this reality TV shit, you know what I'm saying? This reality TV has turned a lot of us fucking crazy. Because we look at the TV and we see these girls in Gucci and Louis Vuitton and these fancy bags and shoes. And I don't, I don't even know all these name brands. I don't give a fuck. But it makes you want things that ain't even for you. Who the fuck cares about a bag or shoes? Who the fuck wants friends who only care about you because you have these bags or shoes? Who the fuck wants a man who only cares about you when you dressed up? Like, my niggas, for real. Like, it just don't even make no sense. The only thing that makes sense is being yourself and loving yourself exactly how the fuck crazy you are, you know? Yeah, thank you, Outlaw. Like, the other day, I got somebody who's supposed to, like, I've been looking for a manager for a long time, right? And, no, I don't do fame no more. They hired some fucking crazy person and a whole bunch of us quit so i don't i don't fucking work there that's why i said don't tie me to a radio station because if the energy ain't there no matter what the job is i'm leaving if the energy is not there you know i don't recommend nobody live how i live because it's not exactly stable but i don't think i was meant to be a person that was supposed to be pigeonholed into one thing i'm supposed to experience things and then be able to translate it to other people and hopefully um, maybe I can get somebody to feel better that was going in a bad direction or something like that. I just feel like that's just always who I've been meant to be. So it doesn't bother me when I have to leave a place for pissing me off or if my energy is, is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, but I don't recommend that for everybody because sometimes you have certain responsibilities and you cannot just up and skate. But I do recommend that if... The job you have or if the life you in is not bringing you joy, fucking figure your way out. You know what I'm saying? Figure your way out. If you ain't got the fucking money to do it, let me tell you how you do it without the money. Hey, Jaswa, baby. Let me tell you if you don't have the money, right? So if you frustrated in your life where it's at right now, but say you don't have the money so you feel like that's all you got. All you got to do is start going places where... Other people are. People who are about what it is you're interested in. So, say you live in the hood, right? But you really care about art. Start taking your ass to some of these art displays they have. They have every Wednesday night we some kind of painting something in Kingston. I don't even think it's no money to go in. It's money to buy the paintings, but just by going in. 
you then get to mix and mingle with people who also care about art and talk to them. So now if you care about art and you meet people who are already established in art, maybe you can intern and help them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. If we sit here every day and just worry about how to impress other motherfuckers on social media, we about to be a bunch of fucking bums that just look good online. And I ain't about to be no fucking bum. And I don't look good online. I look good in real life. Online, I don't think I translate as pretty. I'm prettier in person. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, social media scares me. What it's doing to people, it scares me. It's a bunch of enablers on social media and they see fuckery that they know is wrong and they say, well, leave the girl, let this man, let them live their life. Fuck that shit. I'm telling y'all, fuck that shit. Because that's like throwing away your moral standing, your moral values. Fuck that shit. Don't listen to that shit. You know what's right for you. You know what's good for you. And you need to pay attention to that. Don't pay attention because somebody else said it. Pay attention because you know it's right for you or it's bad for you. All right? Yeah, fake people is everywhere. Fake people is everywhere. Tanzania! I need to come out there to come chill with you. Ooh, Natural Bridge! Ooh, Lady Ann! Hey, girl! Anyway, like I said, I just came in from Dexter Daps. That shit was a horrible drive to Guy's Hill, but Guy's Hill got some fucking vibes. So I got to go. Mm. I got to go. I got to go. There's more issues I want to address. Like on, on some real shit, there's more issues I want to address. And I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm in this part of my life where I'm doing a very big change. Like, because I, I just feel like I can't just do things to do things. I just can't do things just to collect money. I can't do things like that no more because that shit don't make me happy. I've, I've been in positions where I've made lots of money. I've been in positions where I've made less money. And I realized that the only time I was actually happy was when I was doing something that actually made somebody else happy. So I've been working with Alligator Head Foundation. Mm. Because I'm a big sea fan. I love the ocean. So I plan on doing a lot more stuff um, that feeds my soul. That's what life is, y'all. Life is more than that. All right? Life is feeding your soul. And ladies, one of these days, I'm going to come on here and me and you going to have a chit chat. Because we got shit fucked up. You understand? 2018 relationships are not the same. So we need to stop having the same expectations for these relationships. So I need to talk to y'all ladies one-on-one. -on -one. Next time you see me come on here, it's going to be me talking to y'all. And I'm not going to tell y'all what to do, but I'm going to tell y'all certain things because it's 2018. So if you still expect the relationships to work the way they did in the 90s or even in the early 2000s, I'm here to tell y'all that y'all really in a fucking bad space. All right. And the only way relationships are going to be able to move forward is if every single last one of y'all Men is a whole different story. I'm just talking to the ladies right now. Is if every last one of y'all start loving yourself first. It's not about, oh, I don't want a man that cheat on me and I'm not in this man.